Hi, I'm Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I've got a masculine card that I made for this week's The Spot Creative Challenge, and it uses a color combo of Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, Crumb Cake, and Coastal Cabana. Let's take a look at this summary creation. So for our card, we're going to start with the little stamping using a sentiment from Pansy Patch. And I've cut a circle from Very Vanilla using a layering circles die. You can find those dies in my Stampin' Up! store. And I'm inking in crumb cake and just want to make sure that I'm Hitting all points on my circle here. There we go. The little things you do make such a big difference. I know that's perfect for my husband because it's all about little things. And then next, I've used the picture of this dies. These are new in the 2021 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. And of course, as you see, they cut rectangles and circles and give you a little stitching on the outside frame piece, if that's what you're using, or the um, negative piece that you cut away. And I like them very much because when you cut, you can cut your whole layer, as I've done here on a piece of Coastal Cabana, or you can use them selectively and just cut out a few circles. And I've done that as well for our card. So let's bring in our crumb cake base. When I was putting colors together for this card, I was thinking about summer and men's clothing and khakis and those uh, fresh, bright colors that they wear with them. So our khakis are our crumb cake base here and it's cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half and then I'm just adding a very vanilla layer on the inside. And then we're going to take this coastal cabana and some dimensionals and raise it. Now since you've got so many holes in your layer, you do want to add a few extra dimensionals to give an appropriate amount of support. That's not too many more than I actually use on a, a full layer, but you do want to support your layer so that it's not sagging. Okay, and pull that last one off. And then we're just going to center this piece on here. I'm not quite centered. I'm a little far to the left. You're going to check your top and two sides. And that'll give you centered all over. Okay. And I know I need dimensionals on this piece. And and we're just going to start with it in place and then adhere it as a final step. And in all likelihood, we'll be adding some additional um, dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to start with my pale papaya circle here. And I'm going to use this circle as a way to balance my design. Now I'm looking at where pieces are going to hit and placing my dimensionals accordingly. So coming right in here and down just a little bit. Okay. And then I want to add my coastal cabana circle up here so that it's overlapping a little bit. And I'm going to add adhesive to this one. And 
and slide it under my pale papaya. Still want to be able to see that crumb cake come through. And then I want to bring my this pale papaya out here. Whoops. Need to put my dimensionals on the correct side. And this one we're going to give a couple of dimensionals. And then just lightly overlap the edge. Now here we need to come back and add, I need a second dimensional here. And that's what I was saying about waiting until We've got everything overlapped so that we'll be even across here. So three of these points are hitting things that have already been raised. And then our fourth dimensional was hitting a blank spot. And there we go. A masculine card using the Pansy Patch stamp set. Thanks for stopping by. You can find all of today's supplies using the link in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Have a great day. Bye.